So please ignore my giant mess. Uh, it's cold outside and I have converted my pool table into my hobby bench. So I've got some of my RC stuff over there. It's just, you know, formulated. Anybody who does hobbies know you can create a mess real quick. But I'm in the process of trying a bunch of different props. I've got some ABC props. I've got, um, this is a Pro Boat stainless steel. It's a 1716. Um, this is the hot racing prop, three blade. This is, I believe, an 1817. Um, but what I have on here right now is a 1716 uh, ABC prop. But anybody with a Spartan, we always have a problem with it chine walking once it gets above, you know, 50 miles an hour. So I've been playing around with a ballast weight, 4.3 ounces. And the reason why I did 4.3 was because if I can find it, um, don't know where it is right now. But the GoPro, so I'll put a GoPro on top of this thing and it will flat out run and the chine walk stops. So my thought was, okay, if I can just put ballast weight in the center of the hull, all the way at the bottom, or move it in different places, I could see if I could control the chine walk. But the four ounce weight slows it down probably seven miles an hour considerable. So, you know, it's not gonna be uh, viable for a long-term usage. So the way I have it set up right now is I have a different servo here on the back with a different arm. Um, I changed the linkage out a little bit. Um, let's see if I can find those ends. So these ends right here are the stock Spartan ends and there's actually a little bit of play inside these. These actually came with my Haas and I was able to use these and it stiffened it up. So the rudder no longer has any any side to side play. If you grab your Spartan rudder, you can actually wiggle it like a sixteenth of an inch side to side, and this no longer does that. And it's all in the linkage here. And what I did, I played around with putting weight here, played around with putting weight there, because the boat torque rolls all the, always to the right. So in theory, if you put weight on the left, maybe it will help compensate for that. Um, I'm no longer running the stock motor. That is a uh, 4082 1600 kV with the RC Boat Bits 175. Um, I do have some cooling stuff coming. We're going to change that all around. I got RC boat bits um, rear strut and their, uh, their heavy-duty updated drive shaft. And before I ever learned about RC boat bits, I replaced all this stuff with um, hot racing stuff. But if you ever update a Spartan, I would recommend just go to rcboatbits.com and buy the entire kit for like $175 or something like that and just upgrade it all from their stuff. It's what I wish I would have done at the beginning. Now, on to the topic of today's video. I'm trying to do testing for chine walking, and I was at work today, and I thought of an awesome idea. Um, part of the hobby is just testing stuff, so I want to show it to you. Now, don't laugh, but I was thinking about aerodynamics, and this is what I came up with as for a test. I have about a dozen old RC cars from back in the early 2000s, and this is off of like some old HPI that I had. It was still in the plastic, and um, I was like, hey, there's a wing. Let me try it, and this is what I came up with. So I just put some, uh, some Allens in there to where what I can do, I don't have to like glue this down or drill any holes in my hull. I'm just gonna put some like shipper's tape down and tape this down really well on all four points on each side. And then I'm gonna take it out and do a high speed run. And we're gonna see if um, added arrow on the nose, if we can help push the nose down at high speed and see if it helps. Now it looks cool if you put it in the back, but if you put it on the front, it may actually help. So this is just a test to see if any sort of arrow would actually help the boat. So I'm gonna go ahead now, we're gonna throw some batteries in it and we're gonna take it outside to the pond. All right, so here's the lovely little pond right behind my house. Unfortunately, I don't own it, my neighbors do, but my house is right there. So just a quick little walk, about 150 feet, and I've got a nice spot to ride any boat but i've got the uh the wing on the front i've got it taped up a little bit and i've got my temp gun so we're going to go ahead and throw this thing in and see how she does and then uh, i'll put the gopro on and take you for a ride along and show you how fast it goes with the gopro on it the size of the spray that comes off the back with that bigger prop is amazing
by then it would have gotten out of control here. All right, I'm gonna, this would get normally out of control. I'm gonna go all the way to the other end and punch it. That may actually, it may be doing something there. It may be keeping that nose down wide open. That is cool. Wide open. I run out of runway. She's getting it, boy. She's getting it. Let's give y'all a ride and see how it goes. All right, let's check temperatures real quick. Yeah, no smoke. Okay. Let's see what we get. Man, this B controller is killer. 86 on the batteries. 90 there. Woo, 133 at the connection. Let's see, yeah, 136 at the wires. And the motor's running. I thought I got one oh yeah. Motor's running about a hundred. The wires themselves are hot. That was a really, really hard run. Adding the GoPro adds a lot of weight, so but yeah. I'm using six point five mil connectors. Alright. Not bad. Now I'll be completely honest. The wing on the front kind of looks funny, but that was just a test. It actually performed excellent. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of speeds that I'm going to get um, from editing the footage. But basically, once you throw a GoPro on it, you can add about 6 miles an hour to it. Um, 8 on a good day, but I would say you can add 5 to 6, and that'll be what your speed is without the GoPro mounted on the boat. But, noticing just from me driving it, the front was actually a lot more stable 
um, what I'm thinking is because the the boat is so proportioned funny there's no weight in the center and there's no there's more weight on the outer edges from the batteries and there's no nose weight so I don't know if you were to take the foam out and then fill the front up with like pool noodles or something just put more weight up or if you create some sort of you know aerodynamic effect on the front similar to this but i'm gonna take this to a bigger pond in a future video and i'm gonna see how that wing performs and what kind of speed we can get out of the uh of this setup with a few different props all right we're back inside i got my batteries back uh on the charger getting them on balance mode or i uh, got them on storage mode to where we're good for whenever it comes time to uh to run again um, I was lucky enough that I got off work in time to where I could, you know, give one run in, in the pond. It's just what I like to do when I get off work. But let me know your thoughts uh, on the wing, how you think it performed. I'm kind of anxious to see what the video footage looks like um, of the GoPro on top of it. Um, let me know if I should try to put, you know, more weight inside the boat. Or should I do some sort of more permanent wing on the front? Should I move it? Just give me a little bit of insight, uh, anything that you've done with your Spartan to help control chine walk. Um, you know, I want to try to at least break the 60 mile an hour barrier. Um, I think that's totally possible. Maybe not long, like longevity wise, race wise. Um, that probably go, you know, I'll probably get Oxydene, um, boat at that point to, to reach that, that level, that speed. But right now it's the first boat that I've ever had. I love it. Um, I loved it so much that I went on eBay and I bought the Recoil 2. Uh, my girlfriend's 10-year-old son, he likes watching me run a boat, so I bought him one um, that is basically, you know, flippable. So he sent it in the bushes yesterday, and when he did, it broke the breakaway. So I have to um, come up with a solution to fix that. So I probably have to order that little piece. But, um, is that little piece right there? Unfortunately, that broke off. But other than that, 10 year old, hey, you got a 45 mile an hour boat when you throw a 4S in it. So it's pretty, pretty sick. So it puts this one for a run for its money because this is bigger, carries two batteries. That was smaller, one battery. But, you know, I clocked that at 46 miles an hour and I've clocked this one at 53 so far. But, um, yeah. If you're looking for any performance parts for this thing, RC Boat Bits is definitely the place that you want to go. Um, I learn, learn by doing. Um, point anybody in that direction. I'll never make that mistake again. Uh, they're the only place that I'll go for performance parts, no matter what boat that I buy. But um, as far as my rear setup, I had my rear trim tabs pretty much level. I had these pretty much level. And then I had these over here, since this is the right side, I had them trimmed down just a hair to try to compensate for it. But I didn't want it to, um, to affect speed that much. So these are only like a degree down. And then my stinger here, I guess that's what you call it. This is perfectly dead nuts level with the bottom of the hull. So I don't want any other thing about the boat to mess with the way it handles when I go to do some sort of you know funky setup like put a wing <laughs> like put a wing on the nose so i think it does look cool it was what i had in my stock i literally have um like these big old rubber made totes of rc stuff out in my chicken shed that has got like you know old maximum st duratrax parts and the original 0.15 traxxas vortex and like so much stuff i have the original losi 8 buggy the the very first one they came out with back in like 2007 i still have all that stuff it's just under the house um sitting in a bin but at this point all these radios everything is all outdated you know from my old stuff so right now it's just kind of like you know nostalgia of me looking at it but the way that the electric systems have become nowadays the electric systems are off the chain like you can't beat the power of a lipo like brushless setup with lipo it is absolutely bonkers man this thing is this thing is crazy I imagine buying like a legitimate fiberglass hull or a legitimate carbon fiber hull now that that's where it's gonna be at that's where it's gonna be at but leave me a comment in the comment section let me know what you think about the wing give me some tips see y'all later